Hi, welcome to issue 43 of the Titanic by Hachette, the ship, the legend. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, uh, hi everyone. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching all these videos so far. I haven't seen it much, but yeah, please, thanks for watching, hitting the subscribe button. I've uh, hit 509 subscribers now. So I just want to hit, try and get another 500. If you can, please like and share this so that I can get as many as possible and um, I can hopefully get a thousand subscribers and maybe get some paid for doing this. It'd be helpful, nice, you know. Be doing it long enough. <laughs> if you, because it's going to help me build more of these models. The more I get, the more I do the mod, uh, more videos, the more content and more subscribers so it w works out eventually so uh, yeah please share and subscribe if you haven't already please all right so there isn't a huge amount to do in this issue some bits and pieces but some testing so i've got the um uh test board we need the bulkhead all the bits we've got from last uh, used last made last time so it's this issue we've got an led strip again we can have loads of these we've got a bulkhead a, I think that's a starboard port one. Not 100% sure if these are right ones yet, but these are starboard port one. And then you got lamps. People, I think I've heard people want to try and maybe put a LED in this. So one of the very, very small ones, but it'd be very difficult. Then we've got a port, port bridge bulkhead, which we won't be using for a while. And panel one, that'll be the roof for the... Um, Roof over the um, <coughs> controllers, controls and all that. So yeah, that'll probably be put in the box for now. Then we've got uh, LED cable. Then we've got, um, oh, I got confused. That's, that's, no, that's panel one and two, sorry. Then we've got start, uh, port bridge bulkhead and starboard bridge bulkhead too. I've got them all mixed up, so I'll just put them in the picture way the picture shows, and it's uh, different. Right, so what you need to do is take the build we had last time and replace the one that's fell out. <laughs> because that's happened. Again, you can super glue them in place if you want. They probably will do if they give all that, so. I assume it's a bit because it's a bit better that way around. Okay, right there. So you get two bulkheads. You got this one, which is type E. You go in these two holes here. And on top of the bit where, you've, where the LED is and all that. So just take your time. Get lined up and uh, should be good in theory. <laughs> I'm not lining up very well for some reason. That's kind of weird. Right, I've got to do that and I'll put this other one bulkhead on here as well and I'll be back with when I've done that because it seems a bit awkward. See me? They're very tight fit, but once you've got them lined up, they fit in there quite nicely. They fit on top of here really well. So, yeah. Just f f fiddle, fiddle about with it till uh, you go blind now, till <laughs> they fit nicely. So, there you get this uh, bulkhead. So it's got a little shelf on it and that just goes to the left of the parts you put in earlier uh, the last issue it just wig just if you haven't tried to put it in just a little wiggle it back and forth a bit and it'll fit in nicely and again the other one fits on the opposite side all these little details it's crazy. Considering, unless you have like a magnifying glass when you built this, you won't be able to see any of this. 
I'm guessing that's why the roof be removable. So that'd be like that, and this one would be probably back here as well. So you could be able to take these off because it looks like they won't be able, won't be screwed on. Or maybe we'll see. So that's the bulkheads in place. Almost done. So we take the two lamps. Uh, Glue in place, do as I see if they fit nicely. Oh, they're very loose, so yeah, definitely glue in place. I said before, but this is the glue I use. It's handy because it comes with a brush already included. So for delicate work like this, it's going to make life so much easier. Get in all places like Tesco or Sainsbury's and stuff like that, so. No problem is the glue, the uh, brush does go a bit uh, cra uh, um, crazy after a little while, so but the glue is still good, so you can easily just use a brush until it goes a bit rank and then cut the bit off and then just pour it out like usual super glue. That's just the two lamps in, nice and simple. LED now on it, I think. Yeah, LEDs. Right. So careful with this because obviously that's quite delicate some parts on that. I take the LED strip and of course if you look there's that sort of angled part and on the LED strip that's that way around as well. So Be mindful where you put your fingers at the back, where you all the uh, delicate pieces at the back there, like that. So I'll put that back in again, glue it in, and that's come out. Yeah, so yeah, I'll probably glue them in because I just fell out without doing anything. Uh, so there's about a page of doing just putting that in place. <laughs> it's silly, right? So then it says take. The one that says L on it, and plug it in. Uh, that way round. Then you take the one that says M on it. Is it M? Yeah, M. And plug it in that end. Simples. I suppose you could probably test the LED before you plug these in, but I know these work because I tested them before on the previous issues. Right then it says take the wire that came in this issue, plug it into uh, the last one. Yeah, the last one on the board. So, and then put it down carefully and then test it. Now, I don't put these in fully because there's no point putting them in fully. Yeah, so the, the LEDs work there. I don't know why they don't light up. Oh, oh, do they light up? Yeah, they light up these LEDs as well. So you can just about see the lit up on these ones. So that's cool, and I think that's it, isn't it? Yep, and that is issue 43 done. Told you it'd be a quick one. Okay, so yeah, hope you'd um, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll leave that wire plugged in, I think that's what it says to do. Um, carefully remove the cable from the test after, yeah. Let's leave that wire plugged in. And that's issue 43 done. Hope you uh, let me know. Um, sorry to tell I just show you what's coming next Sunday first. I always forget that, don't I? Every fleeting time. Should learn by now. Right, so issue 44. Uh, decking for the starboard side. Central section of the boat deck. Decking for port side. Connection plates and screws. 
yeah so we've got a massive part coming next to the shoe and obviously we'll be gluing these parts on and I think screwing this bit together to the decking we've got here so yeah again I don't think it's a huge amount to do but I have got issue 45, 46 and 47, 48 today, uh, yes, the other day so I'm all up to date again and they came like a week or so early so that's kind of cool um, so yeah I'll be doing for the next four or five issues from now on so yeah let me know what you think in the comments uh, I'll glue these off on off camera in a minute and uh, see you uh, next Sunday with issue 44 please hit like share subscribe and see you next time see you soon bye please remember to hit the like button and the subscribe see you soon in the next video see you soon bye